Revelation 12 tells us something scary, but it's the truth we need to hear. True companionship, the kind that comes from being chosen and anointed by God, is a rare and precious gift. Throughout our lives, we encounter various types of relationships, some fleeting, some enduring. Yet, amidst these connections, we must remain vigilant against the schemes of the devil, who seeks to infiltrate our inner circles and lead us astray. One unmistakable sign of the devil's influence is when someone in our lives encourages us to do wrong. They may downplay the consequences of sinful behavior, urging us to indulge in activities that go against our beliefs and values. Such individuals pose a serious threat to our spiritual well-being, as they seek to corrupt our morals and compromise our integrity. Similarly, those who seek to control and manipulate us are often instruments of the devil. God has granted us free will, and anyone who attempts to override or coerce our choices is not acting in accordance with his divine plan. Just as Nebuchadnezzar demanded obedience through fear and force, these controllers seek to impose their will upon us, leading us away from God's path. The enabler, another agent of the devil, goes a step further by providing the means and resources for us to sin. Whether it's fueling addictions or facilitating deceitful behavior, they enable us to indulge in sinful desires, leading us down a destructive path. Jesus himself warned against those who cause others to stumble, emphasizing the grave consequences of leading others into sin. Lastly, we must beware of the discourager who subtly undermines our faith and pulls us away from God. While they may not actively encourage sin, their negative influence erodes our commitment to spiritual growth and fellowship. By casting doubt on the importance of prayer and fellowship, they weaken our resolve and distance us from God's truth. In assessing our relationships, we must heed the wisdom of Scripture, which warns against walking in the counsel of the ungodly. While we are called to minister to unbelievers, we must guard against being influenced by their values and beliefs. Surrounding ourselves with those who exhibit godly character strengthens our faith and protects us from the snares of the devil. Just as Judas betrayed Jesus despite being part of his inner circle, we too may encounter betrayal from those we trust. In these moments, we are called to emulate Christ's example of forgiveness and grace. 